Hey guys, welcome back to Lab Cyber. First of all, my apologies for not uploading any videos recently. I have been very, very busy working on other projects, but today I just had to talk to you about the latest ransomware attack that's now being called the Kaseya ransomware attack. But who exactly is Kaseya? Kaseya is an IT firm based in Florida, and what they do is that they provide technology and software to IT management companies to help them run their businesses. So what typically happens here is that you have all these very small businesses and companies that don't have the budget or resources to have their very own IT departments and staff. So what they do is that they hire these IT management companies to run their IT departments for them. Now, these IT management companies use the software provided by Kaseya to run their businesses. Now, it is believed that this is one of the biggest ransomware attacks still date because nearly over 2,000 businesses have been affected from supermarkets in Sweden all the way to schools in New Zealand. So this is basically a global ransomware attack. Now, what makes this attack particularly scary is the fact that the cyber criminal gang went directly after Kaseya and Kaseya software is actually used to provide security updates to these companies, which are of course meant to protect them from cyber attacks. Now, this reminds me of a scene I saw in Die Hard 2. I love my movie references. There's a scene where the bad guys, they've basically taken control of an entire airport. They've gained control of one of the satellites that the airport uses to communicate with the airplanes in the sky. And now the good guys, they want to regain access to that satellite. So what they do is that they get the best technician, and then they send a security team to accompany him to protect him while he's doing the job. So on the way to the satellite, the technician, he's very, very nervous, he's complaining, he's saying, look, this wasn't part of my job. And then the captain or the leader of the security team, in an attempt to reassure him, says, don't worry, we've got your back. Now, if you're not familiar with the expression, it simply means that don't worry, we're gonna protect you, we're gonna make sure nothing bad happens to you. But the funny thing is that the technician looks back at the captain and he says, oh yeah, you've got my back. Well, who has got yours? So basically he's saying, okay, it's fine that you're protecting me, but who is protecting you? And that's kind of like what's happening in here because Castilla software was used to push security updates that were meant to protect these companies from cyber attacks. Now, we still don't know exactly how the cyber criminal gang were able to successfully attack Kaseya, but they gained control of Kaseya's software and then they used Kaseya software to push out their own updates with the malicious software. And the thing is, when these companies, when they saw the update from Kaseya, they had no reason to doubt the validity of the update. After all, it's coming from Kaseya, whom they trust. So they went ahead, installed the updates, not knowing that those updates was actually malicious software being sent by the cyber criminal gang. Now, who is the gang behind this attack? It is now believed that it is Revel, the same cyber criminal gang that attacked the JBS meat plant uh, last month. Also, the chief executive officer of Kasaya, Fred Vakola, has not yet confirmed whether or not they will pay the $70 million that's been demanded by the ransomware gang. Now, I believe that by not confirming it, they're probably going to pay some form of ransom. It might not be the $70 million. I estimate it to be somewhere around $10 to $15 million. And why? Don't forget that two months ago, when the colonial power plants were attacked, they paid a ransom of $11 million. So I expect something similar to be paid this time around. Now, this brings us to the ultimate debate or the ultimate question. Should companies that have been attacked by ransomware gangs pay the ransom? Some people might say, no, this company should not pay the ransom. But the thing is, it's not that easy because the data that's often been hijacked by these gangs is very often very critical data that these companies need in order to run. Without that data, they might go bankrupt, they might not be able to function. But at the same time, the fear here is that if these companies keep on paying the ransoms, this will simply embolden these criminal gangs to keep on attacking companies and they could use the money that they've gained to hire new black hat hackers or even deploy new kinds of technologies. So it's a very, very complex and it's a very, very complicated issue. But with that being said, I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. What do you think? Should companies pay the ransom or should they just say no? We're gonna do our best to restore our data by ourselves regardless of what the cost is. I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Share the video with anyone who may feel might benefit from it. And of course, my name is Alex. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you next time. Stay safe out there.